so yeah hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you're a returning subscriber how's it going so anyway this will get ready with me plus it will be a coming out story so for those of you who don't know i'm queer this came out of the closet so in my experience like it's normal it's not that bad Certain like people who do not accept you for being who you are. But I want to mention, I want to mention. So in today's video, I'll basically be telling you how I came out to my mom. It wasn't the first time actually. I came out to her twice actually. So we were watching like a scene on on TV where it was like a homophobic attack. As we were watching, I asked her, "Mama, why are they attacking this guy?" But I knew why, I just asked out of curiosity. I asked her and she was like, no, they're attacking him because he's in love with another guy. But why are they attacking him? Like, why are they attacking him because he's in love with another guy? Like, what's the, what's the point? And she was like, no, they're just being traditional. They like seeing things straight. They don't like it when other guys like other guys. So I'm like, what's wrong with that? Like, like what's wrong? Like, What's the difference? It's the same thing as um, a man liking a woman. It's just that the preference changes. It's like a woman liking a woman. What's the point? And she's like, no, it's, they find it unusual that guys are dating other guys. So they, they felt like they needed to beat him up to set him straight or to make him beat him to come to his senses, actually. Yeah. As a opinion, I'm like, oh, what if I came up with a question. I was like, oh, no, what if I'm also like that? And she was like, like what? Then I said, what if I also like like guys in a way? It's like, what do you mean like guys? It's like, what if I'm attracted? And I said, what if I'm attracted to guys? And she was like, understand, please explain. You know, when you come out of the closet and your parents say, please explain, like you can't explain this the way it is. I was like, yeah. How do you like guys? I like, I like guys just like you also like guys. It's the same thing. But when you grew up liking girls, and I'm like, yeah, but we're still in the closet. So then I was, I was saying like, I was basically saying that I would kept on, I was in the closet, so I couldn't like reveal myself. Even though people have been telling me, like people been telling me that, aren't you gay? Aren't you gay? Aren't you gay? I was like shoving it off and getting sensitive because I knew that I was, but I didn't want people to be right in a way. I don't want to admit actually. Yeah. So I'd been in denial actually, even though I knew secretly that I was. But like, how how couldn't she see that? Like, she practically raised me. How couldn't she see that I'm different from other guys? I didn't know that's not true. So I told her that I like guys and she's like, please explain it's like, Then I was like, the same thing as you like him, guys You can't change it, it's attraction actually So then she's like, just go ahead and guys And I was like, yeah, but it was because of peer pressure But being gay is so, it's, it's, it's insulting actually and It's diminishing your masculinity So then, that's why I dated girls but then as I go to high school, I realized that I'm not the only one and why should I struggle if other people don't even have a closet to come out of? Like, they already knew that they're gay since birth. That encouraged me actually to come out. So, as the conversation kept on going, I realized that this woman is pushing the subject off. She's changing the subject. Like, anyway, as... Then as she kept on pushing the subject away, I realized that I can't speak things to this woman. She doesn't want to understand my sexuality. She doesn't want to understand my preference. Later on in the year, actually, I was like, you know what? I've had enough. I'm coming out of the house. So I asked my other friend who is also homo. I asked him, like, tell me, how do you deal with, like, being homo? Being queer, actually. Let me say queer. It was like, it's easy, I just pushed them away, like, I just pushed the homophobes away. And I'm like, I have a situation, 
my mom, I told my mom, but then she was just brushing the subject off. So I don't know whether I should let her accept it or what. Then I was like, ah, things like that just take, just need to take time. So it's like, but then my friend don't like, I need help coming out to them. So he was like, no, you know what, we'll talk later. Then he gave me his number, then he talked on the app. Then I told him the whole situation that my friends, some of my friends, like, they they don't want to accept that. Even though I'm not coming out to them, but just hearing the conversations about queer people and like how how they talk about them actually, that just made me get deeper into the closet, like not try to come out at all. But since coming, I used to be in boarding school by the way. So since coming out of boarding school, I realized that. No one is actually in control of my life. Like those guys that were saying comments about queer people, I no longer see them every day. So I can now I can find the comments. So there was this point where we went to camp, to a school camp. Then we talked up me and him, me and him, the queer friend, we talked about it. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna force you to come out and he's like like, what the hell? Why are, you, why are you doing that? Like, why are you forcing a situation? Just let it be. He actually did it. Like, he told his other group, he told his group that I'm queer. Like, he forced me to come out to his group, not mine. So, I had to come out because, like, he really told the group, like, what's the point? So, I admitted that I'm queer as well. So, yeah, it was, it was all that communication and stuff like that. It was like, but my other friends, like, they don't like queer people anyway. Then they were like, just leave them, just ignore them, just delete them out of your system. I agree to it. Then when was it? A few days ago, actually, a few weeks ago, my mom was like talking to me about how depressed I was and how my mental health was visible to everyone how badly it was visible to everyone so i was like yeah but like i'm not comfortable like, i don't know how to describe it like, i don't see myself as you like i'm not as social as you <gasps> but then she was like yeah but you could try being more but because like she said she could try being more social and stuff like that because other people like find you weird and stuff like that. I was like mom what if I'm comfortable being weird? Then she's like no but it's really my reputation. But then in my mind I was like what is this woman saying? So as we were talking I don't know I don't remember what happened but it came to a point where I was like, um, we need to talk about this, the thing we talked about last month. And she was like, I thought you really talked about it. What do you, what do you want to say? And I fully told her that, mom, I'm queer. I didn't tell her that time I was being hypothetical. So now I finally told her that I'm queer. And she was like, what do you mean you're queer? Like, she was just asking me questions about like, why, how, I don't understand. And I try to explain to her that there are different types of queer people. Then she was like, so what are you like? What do you describe yourself as? If you were to date another guy, are you, are you the girl or are you the guy? And I was like, I keep quiet for a minute. Even though I knew that I was feeling, I don't want to like say it. So I kept quiet and I was like, but now what if, what if I'm both? If we are both like both girls and both guys in the relationship. She kept on brushing it off. She was like, no, it can't happen. So one has to be the girl and one has to be the guy. And I told her that mom, we're boys. We're both like guys. We can both be guys in the relationship. No one has to be the girl. Even though I knew that I was really the girl. So she kept on brushing it off. I was like, you know what? I can't. Like, I can't. Like, she kept on brushing it off, and I was like, you know what? I might have to tell her when I'm grown up.
so that she can fully see that on her because she thinks that it's some kind of face even though I've already told her like billions of times but it's not a face because while I was growing up she would see me like wearing her dresses or wearing her heels or wearing her makeup and like at school like they would make fun they would bully me because I was different in my head I was like can't you already see that what has been happening all these months is happening right now all these years actually it's happening right now and I'm, and I'm finally accepting it kept on brushing off that no this can't happen this can't happen so I was like anyway let's change the subject but after that I tried I came up to my aunt actually because she's an LO teacher so she understands more of these things so I came up to her and I told her that I like guys and she's like oh I already knew like I could see like when you were growing up like from 10 years 10, when you were 10 years old that no man even though it's just a phase he's like different she still was bidding me steady oh like even though even though it was a phase that was a different phase because you were like too feminine I was like, but like how did you know and she was like no I know these things I'm an LO teacher like duh she couldn't like ask me because she thought I wasn't comfortable enough with saying it. So that so now that I told her instead of her asking me, she felt comfortable telling me that I've been seeing it. And I even once talked to your mom. I even once I even once discussed this issue to your mom. But she was like brushing it off, saying blah blah blah, saying that this can't be happening, it's her son who must be alive. Like I was gobsmacked actually. I was gobsmacked. As we kept on talking, she was like, no, it's okay, we'll get through to them. Your mom and your grandma will get through to them. It's okay. They they just don't know it. They just don't wanna understand. But we'll make them understand. They'll accept you when time comes. So that cheered me up in a way because it gave me hope that things might be. But school wise, sh I mean, it's 2023. How do you not? How do you not? Mm -hmm.